Hi there. Today we're going to set up a level 1 to 90 white mage cross hotbar for players who play with controller on PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this up if you want to get a jump start on a consistent cross hotbar. You will only have to set this up once and it will work for any content level you play. You'll never have to adjust for syncing purposes. I build these with the mindset of having the most important abilities with low cooldowns on the bottom cross hotbar for ease of access and longer cooldown abilities on the top cross hotbar. I separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, left trigger two. Now if you've been following this series, I have tanks already done and now that we move on to healers, there are some big differences. One, tanks are mostly proactive, meaning you're using abilities to mitigate damage before it happens. Healers are reactive, which means the amount of healing you're doing is widely based on your party setup and how much damage your party is taking. Now, if you want to learn how to heal, I'll link the appropriate 1 to 90 guide in the description box, but this is more of just the setup for the cross hotbar. I will include my methodologies for each part. Right trigger 1 is always my main heal GCD spells. Remember, we are building to where you can use this unsynced, which is why I keep these here for when leveling down. We have Cure 1, Cure 2, Medica 2, and then Divine Benison. I do not keep Medica near here as I very, very rarely use this ability over Medica 2. Divine Benison is here for later levels because we are going to be using this ability quite a lot when tanks are pulling dungeons. Trash mobs. Right trigger when d-pad is pretty similar for all healers, which is Swift Cast, Raise, Lucid Dreaming, and then a Flex Spot. I put Thin Air here so I can use it with Medica 2. These three abilities I always keep in the same spot, so no matter what healer I'm playing, I'm able to easily resurrect someone without having to look at my cross hotbar and keep lucid dreaming on cooldown. Now, because healers are reactive, we need to utilize our double cross hotbar pretty often, which I find these portions, right trigger 2, left trigger 2, and left trigger 2 d-pad the most comfortable to access when using my double cross hotbar. Right Trigger 2 for White Mage has my less used healing abilities with longer cooldowns. The biggest reason is we spend most of our time in the Left Trigger 1 area since this has all of our damage abilities. So for Right Trigger 2 I have Benediction, Confession, Aflatus Rapture, and Medica. These are all my least used abilities when reactive healing with White Mage. Right Trigger 2 D-pad is our extra slots where I use these are very, 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 very situational. This is Rescue, Surecast, Cure 3, and a Flex Spot. These very rarely see the time of day. Left Trigger 1 is our damage GCDs, Asuna, and AoE. Always for every healer I have. For White Mage, we have Glare, formerly Stone, Dia, formerly Arrow, Asuna, and our AoE, Holy. You could potentially switch Asuna for another important ability, but I've had it in the spot for a long time and whenever I need it, I don't want to be searching around my cross hotbar for it. Our single target GCD and our dot damage over time are always in the same place for every single healer I have, no matter if it's Astro, Sage, or Scholar. Our AoE is the same, it's always left trigger A for me for an Xbox controller for every healer. Left Trigger 1 D-Pad is our important healing abilities that we will be using a lot. This is Regen, Assize, Tetragrammaton, and Aflatus Solus. If you notice, I tend to keep abilities that I'll need to cast on a single party member, usually the tank, to my left D-Pad as it makes focusing them and using the ability far easier and fluid. Since, to access the party list, you just have to push up or down on the D-Pad, which then you can just hold the left trigger and then press the corresponding D-Pad button for the healing ability. All very fluid in one motion with only using one hand. Single target regen is something you'll be using a lot and applying usually as you're running in a dungeon for the tank. A size has a low 45 second cooldown, does damage, heals your party, and you gain MP, so it's a powerful tool to keep on cooldown. Tetragrammaton is the few OG CDs we have as a white mage that heals so we want to prioritize this ability first between damaging enemies when needing to heal the party or tank. Lastly, Aflatus Solus is here as using this healing ability is not GCD but since they have changed Blood Lily to be damage neutral, we can now use this as necessary instead of avoiding it like we did before patch 6.1. So if all of your other single target abilities are on cooldown and you have Aflatus Solus, you'll be using this ability. When you have an uh-oh moment and tank's health start dropping fast, you want all of your single target healing abilities to be next to each other so you're not scrambling around and button mashing. With this setup, you can rotate between your single target heals pretty easily. Lastly, our left trigger 2 is Blood Lily, Liturgy of the Bell, Presence of Mind, and Temperance. 
Bloodlet is our damage nuke and is specifically here to mimic our AoE on the lower cross hotbar, which is holy. Presence of Mind is here to mimic our single target GCB a damage ability glare. Since 99% of the time you are using Presence of Mind with glare, so this help keeps it top of mind during battles. Temperance is just a good AoE damage mitigation for the party, which is why I keep it on the damaging side of my cross hotbar for trash pools. Liturgy of the Bell is a flex spot here. You can also put this on the D-pad of left trigger 2, but for me, it works here. It's a little more situational to fully maximize this ability, but good for gigantic trash pools and mostly dungeon bosses when there's lots of room-wide AoE attacks coming your way that's damaging the entirety of the party. Lastly, our left trigger 2 D-pad is of course our limit break, which is the same spot for every job I have, tank healer or DPS, Asylum, which is our healer bubble, and Aquaville, which is our tank buster mitigation pretty much. I specifically keep Aquaville here for the earlier reason of keeping single target damage mitigation or healing abilities to the left side d-pad for easier access. The Asylum bubble just doesn't really fit anywhere else and this is the easiest place for me to access it, but if one of those flex spots works better for you then you can kind of move this one around. As always, Sprint and other utilities are on hotbar 3. I do not personally put these on my first two cross hotbars as it's very valuable real estate here. Cross hotbar 3 is shared between all my jobs, so every job has access to it. Repose does not make it on my cross hotbar as I've never needed it for pretty much anything in the game, but if you have, leave a comment down below to educate me because I've never used this ability. This setup will be completely fine for all content in game. Once you hit level 90 though, you are able to change some things around a little bit that you may not need if you're only doing end game content. But if you're going to be doing leveling roulettes or anything else that can down sync you, then I would keep everything the same. If not, and you're only going to be doing level 90 content or above, you can move Cure 1 and even Cure 2, depending on how confident you are in your healing job, to the top cross hop bar and bring down more important abilities like Confession or the Healer Bubble Asylum. I don't like to do that though, because I like to mimic these two portions of the cross hop bar between all my healers, so then GCD healing and damaging is is in the exact same place. Hopefully this has given you a little insight on how to set up a cross hotbar. If you actually want education for how to play white mage, you can watch my white mage 1 to 90 guide and the controller guide for how to set up your controller. I also might make a short video for healer targeting on controller. So if you want that, comment down below so I know. And if I've made it, you'll see it in the description box. Make sure to limit break through that subscribe button down below if you got any value out of this video. If you are new to Final Fantasy 14 or my YouTube channel, you can go on my channel, find a huge library of beginner guide videos, job videos, controller videos, and more. So if you wanna watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, you can click here.